Hi, this is a tutorial showing you how to use the um, scroll templates from www.arkeshalewisgraphics.com. I'm showing you today in Cricut Design Space. So you're going to upload the image, click simple, continue. These are large images, so you will have to decrease them in size because I make them large. Continue. Save as a cut image. Click it and insert it. It's taking a little time because it's a large file. Going to size that down to about a five. Okay, now as you see, it's one one um, image. So we're going to slice it apart. Grab your square, unlock it, put it over the image, and select them both and hit slice. Get rid of what you don't need. Gonna do it again. Put it over the image. You wanna cut, slice. Select them both then slice. You'll do that until you get them all apart. It is important that you do not change any size while you have those separated. Even if you, I'm going to separate them all so I can show you how they look layered up. But if you just need one piece, do not do any size in, in, unless you select them all in size at the same time. Or your pieces will not match up when you come back to use them. You will have to do this part all over again. So let's turn this part here. Let's leave it black. Let's go with this part and let's make it red. Let's arrange, let's send it. Oh, it is on the front. So that's there. So let's make this one yellow and let's bring it to the front and then you can slice these apart but I won't do it right now but you can slice them apart if you want to when you get ready to use them to cut if you use them for your project so let's turn these blue and bring them to the front. Okay, now that everything's apart, you can size it. If you're gonna create your name in um, here that, to go along with this, that is fine, but if you're gonna um, go ahead and cut it separate, well, well if for whatever other project you may have, you could do that as well. You could use these for t-shirts mugs whatever you want to use them for not just jewelry so let's say this is this is your shadow piece and let's just say you're going to use the shadow and you're going to make it gold and then your um for foreground or this would be represent like your name um your name layer so let's say you want to make it purple purple glitter you're going to make this gold and this purple glitter and you just wanted to use that that would be all you would need and you cut the name the shadow part the gold part which is the shadow part you would cut it out of your gold cardstock and you would cut your 
name layer or four layer out of your purple glitter card stock. Let's say you, you want to add some silver stars, then you would cut the stars out of your silver. And to do your layering, you know, you just duplicate that, this layer, turn it black, and then you make as many as you need to make your layers to go in between here. So if you're going to do this gold, then you would need another piece for the back. So you could take and horizontal flip that. That way you have a front piece and a back piece that you cut the gold out of. And then you four layers that will go between these two. And then if you wanted to layer this so you give it depth, then you could duplicate that and turn it black and duplicate it for your layers if you wanted to. Same thing with the stars if you wanted them to have layers. If you wanted to, if um, I'll say this, if you wanted to use the stars, if you didn't want to use this open one, you could also use this one. That way it's not open. So you could do that if you wanted that to be purple glitter to use that, then you would just line your stars up where they needed to go. Or you could use the open one. This, this is up to you. This is a multi-use scroll. So you, you, there's tons of ways you can set this up. You could just use this and then use the um, stars. So then you would just need, for your layering, you would just need to duplicate that and make it black. I make it black because I use black cardstock for my middle layers most of the time. You could use white cardstock. You could use color cardstock. But anything less than 110 pounds, you're going to use... You're going to be using more layers. With 110 pounds, I could do six layers and it would be super thick for a nameplate. Or you could do four if you want it a little on the thin, if you don't want it so thick. But if you use anything less, um, 65 pounds, 85 pounds, you're going to use way more than six pieces to get it thick. But it is totally up to you what you use. So you would duplicate that how many ever time how many ever layers you wanted in between this and then you would make two of these and flip it horizontal so if you just wanted to use this piece and then the um stars you could or this piece and this piece by itself you could do that just um duplicate and flip This is showing how to use the um, this template, and there's I think there's a rose template, there's a heart, two heart templates. So all the templates that is on ArkeishaLewisGraphics.com. Um, I hope this helps.